Alright, it's dumb token kid doing some motherfucking Dominion Tower. And I got a story today. This is what I do, Dominion Tower. Hopefully I don't get any shitty bosses that interrupt me and piss me off. Alright, let's do this shit really quick. That was a bad round last time. Alright. Right now, let's see how many boss kills I have. Oh, why fucked that up? Hmm. Okay, we got Argus and Nar. And I've killed that many bosses. I'm going for Dreadnips first, and I gotta do Do No Evil. And then I gotta kill Do Double Nomad, and then I can do Goliath Gloves. Because all I need left is Double Nomad and kill the bosses from um, Do No Evil Quest, because I haven't done that quest yet. But, alright, the story today is uh, of why I do not like Taco Bell. Um, alright, me and my three friends, it was... Actually, their names will be renamed. They'll not be announced in this video. I'm not even gonna say, but we went to Taco Bell one day and we just indulged in marijuana on a route. So we j literally just finished the route as soon as we got there, because there's this route that ends at Taco Bell, and we decide just hey, let's go to Taco Bell. Stoned as fuck, eat some food, no big deal, like we always do. So we get in there, and this man just cuts in front of us, and he's some like crackhead. Like this dude, he was so hyper, he was pissed off about his order, he's like, I ordered this, I ordered this, I ordered this, I didn't get this, I didn't get this, I didn't get this, it's bullshit. He's like freaking out. And he turns around, he's like, hey, you do, you, did any of you guys get a cigarette? And me being the nice guy I am, I go, hey, this guy needs a cigarette, I'm gonna give him one. So I give this guy a cigarette, being all nice and shit. And this motherfucker just turns around and goes, thanks man, turns around, just goes back to bitching about his food. And he turns around again and looks at us and he goes, so, uh... How would you guys? We're all like 17, 16, because not all of us were 17 at the time. And he goes, well, I smell marijuana on you guys. And we're like, uh, we didn't smoke today. Uh, that's funny. I don't know what you smell. Maybe it's just BO or something. And he's like, no, I do smell marijuana. And this guy has like an X tattoo below his eye. He's got like a some weird tattoo on his neck. This dude's like, looks like he's ghetto as fuck. And he's like, so uh, you guys would smoke marijuana today? And we were like... Nah, dude, no, nah, like, we haven't, he's like, oh, also, you haven't been smoking, We're like, no, you really haven't, dude. And he's like, nope, I know you guys have, I smell marijuana. And we were like, dude, we promise we haven't. And he's like, well, I'm an undercover cop, and I smell marijuana, and I'm about to call back up. So, right as we heard that, we're all shitting our pants, because we're all stoned little kids, and we all have marijuana on us and shit. So, you know, like, as soon as we hear that, we start freaking out. We are scared shitless. It is one of the worst things that ever happened to us. I have not been caught for marijuana one time. Never have. I'm, I still haven't. I, you never, I never know. I might get caught. And, um, so he starts calling all, he calls it, he pick out his phone. And he puts it up to his ear, like, oh, dude, I'm about to call. Oh, quit fucking messaging me. And he's like, oh, well, I'm about to fucking call back up. And you guys are about to be fucked. We're like, no, dude, please, come on. Come on, dude, like, just let us go. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign out of Skype. Quit. Alright. So, he's, he starts calling in shit, like, Alpha, Alpha 49er, like, motherfucking, all these actual police, like, stuff. He sounded so professional, like, we could've swore this guy was a cop. And we're freaking out, and he's like, alright, I want you guys to go stand against this wall. And he's sitting there trying to get us to admit it in front of everybody, in front of Taco Bell, that we are stoned. This is, like, right before we order our food. Like, we are literally about to order food, and this dude just comes up and steps up and says this shit. So, uh, he's like, alright, you guys need to stay back, you guys are about to go to jail. And we're like, no, we're not, we, we have not smoked today, sir, I promise. He's like, alright, well, I'm about to get a drug test up here in 24 hours, if you admit to me smoking now, I'll go less, I'll go, like, less rough on you. And I was like, alright, sir, I did smoke today. And he goes, alright, everybody order their food. So he tells us to order our food, one by one. My friend orders his food, my other friend orders his food, my other friend orders his food, no problem. He gets to me and he's like, order your food. And I'm like, I don't even want anything, dude. Like, I lost my appetite. You've, like, I'm done. I just want to get this over with. Whatever punishment I'm going to get. And he yells at me. He goes, order your food. And I was like, okay. Can I get number eight? Because number eight's the shit of Taco Bell. It's not lie. And so, as soon as we do that, he's like, yeah. And we all get our food. He's like, get down and eat. And I'll let you guys have your last meal before the cops arrive. So, as soon as we uh, get our food, he goes... Oh, by the way, guys, not on a curb cop. I've been fucking me this entire time. We just admitted in front of Taco Bell that we're high. This was probably the most embarrassing thing in the entire world. Everybody at Taco Bell knew we were high. We still sat down and ate. 
And he uh, he's shaking our hands, like, oh, I got you guys. You guys got punk. We're all like, hell yeah, dude, that was good. Just pretending to this dude will get the fuck away. And as soon as that motherfucker, like, leaves, we all sit down and start eating the food. Like, hell yeah, dude, that was just a joke. We got away with it. Comes back in, like, two minutes later when we're halfway done with the food. He's like, uh, I lied to you guys. I actually am an undercover cop. I just don't want you guys to panic and run away. So I pretended like I'm not so I could get away. And he has his hands behind his back so, like he has handcuffs. And... Like, while he was gone for those two minutes, me and all my friends were discussing, like, oh, hell yeah, dude, we're like, we fucked that cop up, I don't know why we didn't ask for his badge, like, we're all thinking, like, we're idiots, we could have done this, we could have done this, and, like, my friend, who, again, will be unnamed, he's sitting there, and the guy goes, give me your hands, I have handcuffs, and my friend goes, give me your fucking badge, give me your fucking badge, and he's, like, screaming in the funny, like, he sounds like Cartman when he's pissed off. Like, my friend's this skinny little white kid screaming like a little bitch. It's the funniest thing in the entire world. And the guy's like, ah, y'all got me, my bad, my bad. And this dude just leaves. So, we are scared this dude's about to come in again and try to fuck with us again. So we hurry up and eat our food and we get out of there and we drive home completely fine, didn't get in trouble at all. We just went home and enjoyed the rest of our night. And that was probably the most embarrassing moment slash scariest moment of my entire life. And that is why I do not go to Taco Bell anymore. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.